What is going on everybody and welcome back today for another crappie fishing episode. Actually this one really isn't a crappie fishing episode. This is more over the Alltrex trolling motor, which is something that I didn't know about. Um, I've had this Alltrex now for quite some time. I kind of knew there was probably updates because there's updates for all kinds of electronics and stuff, but I never knew how to do it. So we know now. So we're getting ready to do it for the first time ever. Um, I know that this trolling motor's got updates because I've had it for two years now and I've never updated it. So it's not really, it's holding me in spot um, pretty good actually, but it, it moves a lot, which is normal. Um, but I heard that with the new update, it's supposed to hold you somewhere close to a foot range, which we'll see. Right now it holds me within probably four, three to four foot, but let's go over here and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do. If we're gonna be learning together, honestly, because. I've never even done it, but there is an update for the Alltrex trolling motor and we're gonna do it right now. So you guys stay tuned. All right, so we got the trolling motor turned on, power's powered up and we just got over here. What you're gonna need to do, I don't know if you got an iPhone or if you have an Android or what kind of phone you have. I have an Apple. Um, so I went in and had to download the iPilot um, app, which it looks like that. Well, you can see that they have two different ones. They have the iPilot and the iPilot link. I don't have the link system. I just have the iPilot. And so I downloaded the iPilot one and that's the one that I have. <clears throat> All right. So once you get in here to the iPilot, you got your iPilot app and you open it, it will tell you, you it, it kind of tells you what to do. It says to connect to your device. And this is, it doesn't really tell you much on how to do that other than to go to your Bluetooth settings and press and hold the pair button on the iPilot controller which if you press <clears throat> and hold it, it's gonna beep, which is beeping right now. So we're gonna go into settings on the Bluetooth. And we're gonna wait for it to pop up. Okay, so there it is. Don't let go of the pair button. iPilot is right down there. All right, so we're gonna select iPilot, don't let go. Keep holding up the link button. Pairing unsuccessful. All right, so I had to reset the whole thing. <clears throat> For some reason, I wasn't connecting. But anyways, so you hit it, hold the iPilot button down, and it's going to beep, and then you're going to click. It's going to pop up like I showed you. Then you're going to click it, and then it's once you're done, it's going to say connected right here. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. But anyways, got it connected. Now you can go in here to your iPilot uh, app, open it up, hit I agree. Let's do this. Let's... uh. Go to screen settings. Notice motor is stowed. Got that. I'm going to go in here, go to um, iPilot software update. I have a new software available, new software available. So we're going to press begin to update. Keep device in range, continue. All right, so we're going to just leave that there and it is, it's updating right now. I'll fast forward that process and it won't take very long. So anyways, we'll get that done. It says the remote. Can you hand me the remote control, babe? Right. It's up there by daddy's uh, captain seat, the driver's seat. It's a little black remote control. It's got a um, yellow and black string on it. You see it? Yep, that's it. Thank you. So it's supposed to stay open in the foreground and we just screwed that up. So I didn't know my phone was gonna go to sleep while it was doing that. I have to go into my settings, go into brightness and displays, go to auto lock, go to never. So now it won't go to sleep. All right, so now we're gonna go back. Let's turn this thing on. Okay, now, don't touch it, babe. 
We're gonna go, you hit it. Stop touching the seat, babe. All right. Not sure how to do the remote because <clears throat> I didn't turn it on before I started. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not. But we're gonna get the new current version from 1.25, 1.170. We're gonna eventually get this on here. All right, so it's going pretty quick. The problem is, all right, turn it around. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Now flip the seat up. There you go. Now you can sit on it. So it's actually going pretty quick. So while we're sitting here waiting on that to upload, it's gonna be pretty quick. If I can get my wife to uh, ever do this for me, getting my wife to do anything for me is almost impossible, but she sure has no problem with doing everything for everyone else. But I've got a company that can get these hats, and then I've got a logo on, that I have that we're gonna put on here, and I'm hoping to have some hats for sale before too long. So if anybody's gonna want a hat, let me know. Um, Gonna be trying to get those done. So. All right, so there we go. Motor found. It's updated. All right, that's it. So we got it, and we're good. So now. Apparently this is up to date and the version on this is up to date. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, it was pretty simple. The hardest part about the whole ordeal was, the hardest part about the whole deal was, was linking this to this in my Bluetooth settings. Um, the first time I tried it, which you have to hold, you have to hit the pair button. Hey, would you be quiet? I'm shooting a video. So anyways, you have to hold the pair button down, go into your Bluetooth settings while holding it. Do not step on my rod. Hold the pair button down, go to your Bluetooth settings. When iPilot pops up, click iPilot. Keep holding the button down, hit the iPilot. It'll still be beeping. And whenever it does connect, it should do a beep, beep, beep. So it didn't do that for me the first time. I'd turn the power off and turn it back on. And then the second time it did connect for me. Then you can go in your iPilot app. You'll be connected to your motor, which you can actually use this as a controller if you ever lose this. But I prefer to use this thing right here, big time. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, for all you crappie fishermen or bass fishermen out there that are not as tech savvy as I am, um, these things do have updates. So hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys go and update yours if you haven't already updated it. And until next time, we'll see you guys on the next video.